The Audios Electronics and Radar Development Establishment has successfully completed the developmental trials of the UTAM radar, and now the program has moved towards production, that will be integrated from the 19th Tejas Mark I fighter jet onwards. A private sector firm has also delivered a prototype of the UTAM Mark II radar to the DRDO, that will be used on the first Tejas Mark II prototype, which is all set to be rolled out by the end of this month. The Indian Air Force has already accepted the technical feasibility study proposal for the development of a new UTAM radar derivative for the Su-30 program, and the RDO and HAL is currently carrying out detailed technical studies. For the radar of the 5.5 generation AMCA UNTED BF program, the DRDO will use gallium nitride based technology, that comes with greater range and superior heat dispersion for increased performance. The DRDO has also been working on the development of two air-launched ballistic missiles for the Indian Air Force, that includes a shorter version with a range of 700 km, and another with a range of over 1,500 km. It can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, and as it is classified as a strategic weapon, it will be limited to Su-30 fighter jets for launching these missiles. The air-launched ballistic missile have advantages over air-launched cruise missiles, with better target penetration and maneuvering capabilities, and they can be used to take out highly defended command centers or weapons depots that are located deep inside the enemy territory. The RDO's Aerial Delivery Research and Development Establishment had released a tender for the development of jet suit, and now three private sector companies have submitted their technical bids for the program, that includes Micronal Global Engineers Private Limited, Zeus Numerics Private Limited, and Turbotech Precision Engineering Private Limited. The jet suit will be able to carry a pilot weighing 70 kilograms, while carrying an additional payload of 20 kilograms, that includes weapons or surveillance system. The former Air Chief Marshal Arup Raha has said, that the Indian Air Force's shot on force multipliers like a wax, in-flight refueling aircraft and signals intelligence aircraft, and the numbers are not adequate for maintaining vigilance in one theater for 24 hours, and a combination of 15 AWACS and airborne early warning and control aircraft is required for aerial coverage in five multiple theater commands. Just one day ahead of the arrival of Chinese spy vessel at Sri Lanka's Hambanto to port, the vice chief of the Indian Navy has arrived in Sri Lanka, to hand over the Dornier Maritime Patrol aircraft to the Sri Lankan military. The aircraft would be operated by the Sri Lankan Air Force crew, who have been trained in India, 